Elisha selected one of the sons of the prophets. He said to him, Take some oil and go to Jehu. You'll find him visiting with some friends, so ask to talk to him alone. Anoint him king of Israel. Then open the door and run away. So the young man went and found Jehu, who was visiting with some other commanders of the army. The young man said, I have a message for you. When the two of them went into the house, the young prophet poured the oil on the head of Jehu and said, here is a message from the Lord. I anoint you king of Israel. You are to kill all the household of Ahab. Every male descendant is to die. Jezebel will be eaten by dogs. With that, he opened the door and ran away. When Jehu went back to his friends, he said, What did that crazy prophet have to say anyway? Oh, yeah, you know how they are. Uh, he talked on and on about nothing. He said, you're not telling us the truth. What did he say? Oh, well, he did say one interesting thing. <laughs> he said, I anoint you king of Israel. With that, the other commanders jumped up, spread their coats out in front of Jehu, blew the ram's horn and said, Long live King Jehu! And with that, they started planning on how they were going to overthrow the government of Joram, king of Israel, who was the son of Ahab. Joram was at his palace at Jezreel. His, his nephew had come to visit. His nephew was the king of Judah. Jehu and his men went to Jezreel. The watchman said, My lord, uh, uh, there's a band of soldiers coming this way. The king said, Send a rider to see if they're coming in peace. When the rider got there, he said, The king wants to know, are you coming in peace? Jehu said, the king knows nothing about peace. Get behind my men. The watchman said, My lord, the, the rider got there, but he isn't coming back. In fact, he's riding behind the other men. The king says, Send another rider to see if they're coming in peace. The second rider got there. He said, The king wants to know. Are you coming in peace? The king knows nothing about peace. Now get behind my men. The watchman said, the second rider is also joining the men. But my lord, I know who that is. The, the lead chariot has been driven like, a, like with a wild man. That is how Jehu drives his chariot. The king said, get our two chariots ready. Both kings rode out to meet Jehu, each in their own chariot. When Joram got close, he said, Jehu, are you coming in peace? He said, there can be no peace as long as Jezebel is, in, is, is practicing witchcraft and she's causing all of Israel to worship idols. With that, Joram turned his chariot around and shouted to his nephew, Run! It's a trap! Jehu 
took an arrow and shot the king and killed him, shooting between his shoulder blades. He said to his men, take his body and throw it in the field that was stolen from Naboth. With that, he went after the king of Judah because he was the grandson of Ahab. When he was close enough, he killed him with an arrow. So in one day, Jehu killed the king of Israel and the king of Judah. <laughs>